Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What's new about the lunchroom, and why is it here? Stay tuned to find out. Also, catch a concert at Foothill for some family fun entertainment. All this and more today on FST News. And good morning. Today is Thursday, April 28th. I'm Riley Greve. And I'm Amanda Leake. We've talked about some changes in the cafeteria before, but nothing quite as big as this. Foothill now has a salad bar. Amanda joins us this morning with a special guest from CCSD Food Services to tell us more. Good morning, Amanda. Thanks, Riley. Sitting here with me today is register, registered dietitian Christina Saheb. How are you doing today, Christina? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing great myself. Thank you. Um, so tell me, we've been hearing a lot about the salad bar for a while now, and now we finally have it. So tell me, why, um, who made the, dis uh, what was the decision to have the salad bars here now in the end of the fourth quarter? Right, so um, I currently came on, I want to say about seven months ago or so, and I think that um, myself and the, others, and the other registered dietitian, uh, Lori Han, we both, it was our priority to kind of start creating more fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, we first started, we wanted it on the menu, and um, we found that a little bit difficult just to be able to provide fresh fruits and vegetables um, daily on the menu. So we were trying to think of different ways, and one of the ways was just create salad bars. Um, that really opens the door to uh, more of a, a fruit and vegetable, fresh fruit and vegetable variety. So. Sounds fresh. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> And what is the overall goal with the uh, salad bars opening? Um, kind of to touch upon, uh, touch upon sorry, the, um, the first question, um, we really just wanted to be able to provide more fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, right now, a lot of the times we have fruit cups, um, which are still good, a good source um, for fruits or um, frozen vegetables, um, but we would still like that option to have more fresh. So that's why we went with that. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. And how will the students pay for the salads? What is going to be the system? Will they pay by bowl or are they just pay for automatically? How is it going? Yeah, so it's paid for automatically. Um, it's still an offer versus serve. So as long as they pick the three components um, from the five, um, getting a fruit or a vegetable, um, then they're good to go. Alrighty. And multiple schools, including Foothill, are test piloting these salad bars. Now, what does exactly it mean to be a piloting school? It means you are very special because you were picked <laughs> um, as testing. We, this is how we kind of figure out if the f uh, food items that we put on the salad bar to start, um, if they're doing, if they're successful and things like that. So, um, for example, you know, we were able to get sliced cucumbers on there, um, the tomatoes, um, coleslaw. Um, and uh, cottage cheese, for example. So those type of food items, we kind of want to see how they are, um, if you know the kids take them, and, and then we can kind of uh, go from there and uh, maybe adjust. So, and then uh, we do hope that we can uh, expand and have more salad bars to different schools. We are special. Yes, yes. you are special. <laughs> um, how long until we're sure that the salad bars are going to be a permanent thing in our cafeterias? Um, as far as I know, um, mm -hmm. It, it is permanent with Foothill, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. And are students serving themselves or someone serving them in the salad bars? Um, we, we have everybody serving themselves. Um, we do have uh, a uh, kitchen worker that will be there just to make sure that you are picking at least three of the five um, food components. But yes, you do it yourself. Great. 
And now students are taking the food themselves. Um, now, are people concerned about any health uh, issues because teens are touching the food themselves? Right, so we do have, a, we work with the health district to make sure um, that we are following proper HACCP uh, or condition or sorry precautions on that um, making sure that the tongs you know are not falling back into the container um, and that the kids are not taking it you know grabbing with their hands so um, in addition you know to having the health district um, maybe come I don't know how often they're going to be coming just to make sure that they are following um, the precautions uh, but we do have that kitchen manager or worker that is going to be there as well Alrighty, mm -hmm. and will there be any more changes or additions to the cafeteria in the school district other than the salad bar somewhere in the near future? Um, yeah, so we are, for next school year, we are working on some new items, um, and I know that we are also working on a, a new, I know we just rolled out a protein power pack. Um, we have another one in the works, so um, that might be, well, I don't want to give it away yet. So we are, we do have a new one, but yes, there are some new things coming. We are in for some surprises right yeah. there. Now, the protein power packs, are those selling well? How have those been taken by the students? Yeah, so we've been doing surveys. Um, we rolled it out in April, and it's, it's doing, it's picking up and it's going. So um, we're doubling and tripling, you know, weekly. So we're doing well. That sounds great. I tried the protein power pack and I thought it was great. Yes, <laughs> it is. Um, that about wraps it up. Uh, Christina, thank you so much for thank joining you. us here today. Thank you. Now we'll toss this over back to Riley at the desk. Wow, you know, that's pretty awesome. You know, I ate from the salad bar yesterday and it was really good. If any of you get the chance, go check it out today. It is available for all students at the same price as a combo meal, which is $3.25, in case you didn't know. The salad bar is also a part of the free reduced lunch program, so don't let anything stop you from trying it out. Also, tonight at 6.30 to 7.30 in Foothills Augsburger Theater, the orchestra is performing. If you're looking to, for something to do and listen to some good music, then head over there. Finally, today is day 157. That means there's 23 school days left and 34 calendar days left. That's right, and 43 days until we walk at the Thomas & Mack Center. Don't forget, the ceremony is on June 10th at 3 p.m. The countdown is on. To help you suffer, we've added a countdown on our website, fstnews.com. It counts down to 10.45 a.m. on June 1st. 10.45 is when we get out of school on half days. It really has gone quickly this year. Thanks for joining us on FST News. Join us tomorrow when Marquise Parker and Ariel Byrus when they uncover the dirty truths about bathroom passes on AM in the AM. Stay fierce, Falcons. <laughs>